Hello guys, welcome to my cave, the hectic cave that it currently is, but uh, we're only on 7% moon, I thought I'd try and get out there with the kit, which I've got a set up from scratch, it's completely broken down to every last nut and bolt, but uh, I'm just currently waiting for the clouds to clear, forecast is good, so I'm hoping to get up and run in. Uh, with the scope as usual on the on the tripod um, and mount uh, but on my phone that I'm filming on uh, I'm hoping to just do some ultra wide long exposures just to try and catch some of the meteors because we're we've got the January meteor shower now it's January the 5th I think it is today uh, tonight bodes to be the best chance of clarity in the sky so wish me luck and I'll be back and let you know how uh, it's all going. Right so it's actually now about five days after the last two attempts of trying to get out but we didn't beat the clouds but tonight uh, got set up in reasonably good time. The alignment took, uh, polar alignment sort of took two hours to get the mount calibrated. I was having a slew, a good couple of degrees to get it in the, uh, in the middle of the f uh, field of view. Um, but as I calibrated more and more stars, it did seem to get better. But I think my power pack from when I started was only about half. Uh, because I'm, I'm currently now running on the Orion Nebula. I'm actually in the back garden, which is the first time I've been ever faced south. Um, and I just thought it'd be a good, strong target to have a go at. Uh, I've only used this scope a couple of times and I'm still new with this uh, freestanding auto guider. Uh, the next guide, I think it is. I'm still getting to grips with focusing that in on, on focused light, so to speak, that's hit, supposed to be hitting the sensor. Yeah, it says it's guiding, although it doesn't, the square doesn't stay on one star. It seems to, every time it takes the exposure, it, the LCD display, it, 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 it's choosing a different star each focus, I think. Uh, I have done long, ex reasonably long, like over a couple of minutes when it's done that before with reasonably pin sharp stars. Uh, earlier on the first few frames of Orion were beautifully pin sharp. A couple of the frames are just starting to get a little bit egg shaped, although the, the colour, everything is, is is really nice. There's a bit of smoky detail in the nebula. And because uh, uh, I, I, I focused a good focus with the Batting off mask for the first time ever. I, I ordered one before Christmas, so I thought uh, give it a go. I'm currently just running minute exposures, ISO 800, um, with my DS, you know, Canon DSLR. Uh, beautiful colours. This just uh, all I've got is a, a, a really cheap 25 quid. Um, um, filter, um, light pollution filter, even though here I'm at a uh, Bortle scale 4, it's not too bad and it's, it's a really nice clear night tonight so I'm just trying to rinse my power pack for what I can get out of it, just to try and get some sort of uh, you know data, that, as many frames as I can possibly get and then hopefully you know then use as many of them as I can we're stacking but anyway I'll uh, walk over now and then I'll see if I can just get the eyepiece on on this camera onto my display to show you an example of uh, what I'm sort of capturing at the moment so I'll turn the lights out but uh, hopefully the next thing I can get you focused on is, is, is my display on my DSLR camera uh, view I wonder if you can see that 
is my auto guider and you probably can't see it jumping around I'll have to look back on video but um, hopefully let's see if we can get some sort of it's not focusing, it won't focus because there's hardly any light I need to hold this just so still uh, well, there she is oh, it's terrible at um, Let me have a look. See the, Oh god, you know what? There is just a smidgen. I'm just gonna walk away and then actually turn my head. Well I've still got a Banoff mask under my arm. God, what am I doing with that? <laughs> I'll tell you. Sorry about that. I'm actually holding a torch to my face and blinding myself and looking at you guys. On that frame, I mean, it's, it, it, you know, I'm sort of thinking, is it guiding? I mean, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know if my next guide is actually guiding. With a minute, I mean, with longer exposures, I know it would truly tell. Um, once I get them pictures on the computer, I suppose I've just got to assess it all and then try and get that guiding even more pin sharp. I, I'm pretty sure that it's just down to the two hours of calibration I put the mount through it has a rough idea of of its tracking speed you know the polar alignments probably although it, I didn't think the polar alignment was too great um, so maybe it's a bit of both maybe the polar alignment isn't great and the auto guider is doing a reasonably good job of uh, giving corrections but I'm, I'm not sure if that's just the LCD screen a bit fogged up or because the colour's great there's there's like that smoky detail in the nebula itself which would be blurry perhaps just the exposure length I mean I would have thought 800 as, as, as the ISO saying wouldn't be too much first of all I had 1600 and the stars are all blown out perhaps it's just a bit of blowout on the stars because nebula looks 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 great in the majority of them frames anyway I'll get back to you um, I'm just gonna keep cracking on with as many frames as I can uh, with the battery power I've got left which I'm pretty sure must be on the edge but anyway I'll catch up with you soon guys bye for now Hi there guys, um, sorry about this lighting, I'm out in the back garden, uh, the night after, after a bit of a failure with uh, my power pack, after messing around uh, a few nights ago in the cloudy weather, I must have used a lot more power, than, uh, power out of it than I first anticipated, um, because after after like a two hour long alignment session uh, I got on Orion but only basically managed to get half a dozen or so um, tracked exposures then the mount started squealing and the lights were flickering on my plugs and I knew it was out had to retire early but saw it was clear early this evening thought I'd give it another go um, but this time I've got my freestanding auto guider actually locked 
on one star it's focused all the numbers are good on the on the display uh, i've been keeping my eyes peeled on that on and off i'm on exposure now number about 22 i'm just doing minute long exposures on orion at 800 iso 800 um because i'm getting a histogram saying i'm getting plenty enough exposure was half tempted to knock the exposure down and actually run up a longer time frame but i thought i'll stick with what was working for those half dozen pictures last night and give it the give it the full beans ahead um so and everything went perfect tonight the alignment uh polar alignment was great um i uh and now learned that i'm not in summertime daylight you know daylight saving time being in january uh daylight saving time is only from march onwards till fall so uh <laughs> funny enough my mount then knew where deneb was and then where uh capella was uh slight adjustments calibrated perfect everything just went tick tock tick tock got lovely um focus with the batten off mask uh so and then when when the focus and everything went well with my uh with my autoguider freestanding so there's, there's no tablet and there's no laptop um it uh it, it seemed like a dream come true this is probably the best quality imaging of, of i'm getting tonight than i i have in the the sort of the last four months i've i've took up this hobby so i'm dead excited and uh yeah can't wait to reel off some more uh, frames and uh, see how they all stack up etc but yeah it's all looking good so far as a touch of cloud light cloud just 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 coming in now um, which was sort of due I'm amazed I didn't have a bit more on and off cloud than it has been so count my lucky stars excuse the pun but let's go and see if uh, a frames just processing now and I'll see if I can focus you in on uh, my DSLR camera to show you sort of if I can what I'm getting otherwise I will I will post up the picture at the end with some dramatic music all right guys bear with me sorry for the slow and dramatic build up ah there we go the old uh, look that's one one minute take I know it's blurry, but trust me, it's uh, pretty dramatic frames I'm getting. Right, I'll um, get back with you guys shortly once I collect some more of this lush data. Speak to you soon, guys. Stop. 